Welcome into the studio. We are going to do something a little bit different today, and we're going to look at a 3D printer that was originally released, I believe, back in 2021. This is the Longer LK5 Pro, and I think it's a great representation of what so many 3D printers were like just three short years ago. Now, a lot has changed in our industry, but machines like this are still for sale, which begs the question, can the print quality hold up to today's standards? I have no idea. I've never even used it. In fact, the plastic is still on the build plate. So hang out with me while I get this machine plugged in, get a print started on it, and uh, let's see if this machine can compete in 2024. Before we power it on, let's do a quick spin of the machine and take a closer look at it. Now, it's got that classic wedge shape that's common uh, with larger format machines with these two large structural braces. It's a single Z motor design with this giant rod, very skeletonized with the exposed power supply underneath. Uh, I mean, this is what every machine looked like at one time. All the wires are covered in the uh, textile sleeves and it's got big limit switches everywhere. Right, so. Now, how many of you own a machine that looks just like this? In fact, tell me which machine you have, and if you still print with it, I'd really like to know, because I think far more people uh, in our industry own machines that look just like this, rather than the newly styled 3D printers of 2023 and 2024. All right, so let's get this thing plugged in and powered on. And before I peel this plastic off the build plate, let's go over some of the LK5 specs so we know what we're looking at. The build volume on this machine is a large helmet class size, 300 by 300 by 400 millimeters on the Z. It has a hot end that's limited in temperature to a maximum of 250C. So we're commonly seeing 300, but this one's 250. Now I don't think there are any sensors on this particular hot end, but the website does say that it's got auto leveling. So I guess we'll find out. It does have a few of the higher end features uh, of its day. Uh, common now, but uh, weren't so common back in 2021, and that is a filament runout sensor, and it has power loss recovery. So, power goes out, be able to resume your prints. Speeds, of course, have changed a lot from 2021 through now, and the LK5 Pro reflects that with a maximum advertised speed of about 180 millimeters per second, but it's suggested, and more realistically, that you'll be printing at around 60 to 80 millimeters per second on the LK5 Pro. The build plate is manually leveled with four large knobs here underneath and reaches a maximum temperature of 100 C. Now, not much has actually changed with a lot of new machines when it comes to interfaces. And the LK5 Pro is really ahead of its time with a 4.3 inch color touchscreen. Also, Longer is advertising this is quiet printing with TMC 2209 drivers, which is something we've just kind of come to expect now. Nobody wants to hear the robot sounds. All right, well, it's time to get a print started, so let's peel this build plate plastic, level the bed, and see what prints are on the included micro SD card. All right, the bed is leveled, and the build plate is clean, and we've loaded some Polymaker Polylite PLA Pro, and it's time to see the LK5 Pro in action. Um, also, I have absolutely no idea how this is going to go. Um, you and I are seeing this uh, print for the first time together. So enjoy a little printing montage, and I'll be back when it's done, and I think it's gonna be a benchy. I'm just gonna print a few things that are on the included SD card. We'll see you in a few. All right, we are back and it is done and I have to say, I'm a little bit concerned. This was the G code for a Benchy that was sliced and already on the micro SD card in the printer. And I think even for 2021 standards, it's kind of a rough Benchy. Um, even at 60 millimeters per second, it's got some slight ringing. There's some under extrusion, there's some over extrusion. I don't think I'm gonna blame the machine. I've seen prints from this machine that were better, and I think I'm gonna be blaming that G code. So, and which is unfortunate because I think when people buy a machine like this, that's what they're going to be printing first, the included G code. They're gonna go through all those different models, they're gonna load some filament and probably load generic or even cheap filament um, to, uh, to test them out. Uh, we printed with Polymaker's Polylite PLA Pro in this awesome blue and it's a great filament so I'm not gonna blame the filament at all, but I'm gonna blame that default G code. Uh, I think the plan, is what we're gonna do 
is I know this can print better, so we are going to slice up something fun, like something larger, like a helmet, and then we'll tune that and we'll get that on there and we'll do that in a future video. But for today's video, that's the result, and I hope you're seeing some B-roll, or I hope you saw some B-roll of this benching. and you can kind of see it for yourself. But think about this. This is a printer that's 300 by 300 by 400 millimeters, um, and it's more or less from 2021, and this was a, I wouldn't say top of the line machine in 2021, but this was a pretty darn nice machine uh, for three years ago. And so I do think that they can hold up uh, to today's standards uh, with some tuning, and, uh, but it's gonna be printing a little bit slower. So I think the price on this right now, um, on the longer website is $299. That's a tough price point. Is it $299 now? There are a lot of machines uh, competing in that space and uh, even some really fast ones. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed a little look back on a machine from 2021. And I wanna thank Longer for sending this over to us. Uh, it was fun and we're not done. We're gonna create some more content with it and kind of share it with, uh, with some more people with some fun different projects and kind of included in the content that we create. Thanks again. I hope you enjoyed the content and we will see you in the next one.